by shutting down blood supply, causing an ischemic nociceptive signal to keep firing. But the tissue stuff isn't working because it isn't the tissue that lacks the blood and oxygen. It's the brain <coughs> deciding that the tissue gets none. <coughs> so you can intervene all you want on that tissue. It ain't going to change because it's not that mechanism. Different centers of the brain are very involved in this. Insular cortex, prefrontal, anterior cingulate, <coughs> lateral orbital. They're not crazy, but they're not coping. And there's a delicate balance to say when are things considered clinical depression? When are things to consider general anxiety disorder? Where I really need to be working with a psychologist. But then there are things where we're just not doing well, coaching through normal life things and coping and giving them a, a ground and a foundation by which to talk about non-pharmaceutical coping because that is in our practice. And if you look at the subjective characteristics here, you, you can have widespread non-anatomical pain, but often it's very local, very local. Low back pain, neck pain, headaches, knee pain, pelvic floor problem. It's not like central sensitivity where things are spreading all over. So locationally, you know it's different. They don't use catastrophic terms. Sometimes they use emotional terms, or sometimes they use ischemic terms, which is, it's dull, it's tight, it feels like it's weak. They throw you off a little bit. It's low, usually, on the visual analog, usually fours. You don't see the severities in this area. 